Is it time to buy or sell Starbucks stock? Dive into a detailed analysis of Starbucks in this video. Our initial report was released on Thursday, 2nd May 2024, and we're here to provide you with even more insights. Remember to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications for our latest updates. Stay informed about potential impacts on your investments. Improve your trading decisions with our new AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Access free price predictions and in-depth analysis for over 25,000 companies worldwide. Please remember, this video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute financial advice. Since May 2, 2024, our system has rated Starbucks as a hold accumulate with a score of mighty 0.27. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance within this time frame. The stock has experienced some fluctuations but currently shows a 0.00% loss since our initial hold accumulate recommendation. The stock is currently in a downward trend, presenting a potential buying opportunity if the lower trend floor at 74 cents is breached, signaling a further decline. Over the next three months, there is a projected mid 12.02% change with a return range between 90s 12.83% and 3.43%. Looking ahead to the next 12 months, a minus 11.90% change is forecasted, with a potential return between 12.54% and 18.76% translating to a price range of $65.53 to $88.99. The latest update on Starbucks reveals that the stock has been upgraded to hold accumulate. On the last trading day, Thursday, 2nd May 2024, Starbucks stock price increased by 0.658%, moving from $74.44 to $74.93. Throughout the day, the stock fluctuated by 2.43%, reaching a high of $75.05 and a low of $73.36. While there have been seven days of price increase in the last 10 days, the overall performance shows a decline of minus of 14.2% during this period. Notably, trading volume decreased by minus of 43 million shares, with a total of 24 million shares exchanged, amounting to approximately $1.76 billion. It is important to note that a decrease in volume alongside higher prices could indicate potential changes in the near future. Looking back over the past 52 weeks, the highest recorded stock price was $108.12, while the lowest was $72.67. Currently, the stock price stands at 30.70% below the 52-week high, amounting to $33.09, and 40.68% lower than the all-time high of $126.32, on July 23, 2021. Analyst ratings UBS rated X as neutral with a hold action on Wednesday, May 1, 2024. BTIG gave SBUX a buy rating with a hold action on the same day. Deutsche Bank downgraded SBUX to a hold rating on May 1, 2024. William Blair also downgraded SBUX to market perform on the same day. Guggenheim upgraded SBUX to a buy rating with a hold action on Thursday, April 18, 2024. Analysts have given Starbucks stock a general neutral rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong sell and price to book as strong sell. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a strong buy rating. Identified signals for Starbucks. A buy signal emerged from a pivot bottom on Wednesday, May 1, 2024, resulting in a 0.658% increase. Further upward movement is anticipated until a new top pivot is established. Additionally, a buy signal is indicated by the three-month moving average convergence divergence, D. Despite price gains, volume decreased during the last trading day, creating a volume price divergence that warrants close monitoring. Negative signals were also detected, potentially impacting short-term progress. The stock currently displays sell signals from short and long-term moving averages, pointing towards a negative outlook. Furthermore, a general sell signal arises from the long-term average surpassing the short-term average. Resistance levels are present at $84.43 and $87.91, with a breakthrough signaling buy opportunities. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence. Buy signal pivots. Buy signal two days ago. Bollinger, 
buy signal one day ago, short-term moving average, sell signal three days ago, long-term moving average, sell signal 47 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 43 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, sell signal three days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 58 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 87 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Starbucks Starbucks has found support from accumulated volume at $74.44, presenting a potential buying opportunity as an upward reaction may occur when this support level is tested. This stock demonstrates average daily movements and with good trading volume, the risk is considered medium. In the previous day, the stock had a price range of $1.79 or 2.43%. Over the past week, the stock has exhibited a daily average volatility of 2.69%. Let's start by discussing some key fundamental data before analyzing potential trading levels for Starbucks. The price to earnings ratio or PE ratio is an important metric that compares a company's share price to its earnings per share. A normal PE ratio like Starbucks indicates a stable business with a solid revenue history. Looking ahead, Starbucks Q2 2024 earnings report is scheduled for August 6, 2024. Market analysts are predicting earnings of $1.11 per share. Keep an eye on these figures as they can influence stock prices significantly. Now, let's explore potential day trading levels for Starbucks. In an upward trend, the first resistance level for Starbucks is at $90.12. If you're not holding any shares, consider waiting for this level to break before taking a position. For current shareholders, this could be a level worth considering for swing trading. Looking at the downside, Starbucks faces its initial support level at $74.44. If this support level holds, it might present a good entry opportunity with the expectation of a rebound. The combined average rating for Starbucks from multiple analyst sources is neutral. Let's delve into some recent insider trades. On April 22, 2024, Kelly Sara conducted an insider sell of 250 shares of common stock. On April 15, 2024, Kelly Sara conducted an insider sell of 273 shares of common stock. On April 15, 2024, Conway Michael Aaron conducted an insider sell of 3,250 shares of common stock. On April 15, 2024, Brewer Brady conducted an insider sell of 911 shares of common stock. On April 1, 2024, Brewer Brady conducted an insider buy of zero shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is calculated to be positive with a ratio of 50.778. Overall, insiders purchased 387,304 shares and sold 125,227 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at 70.64 cents, representing a decrease of 5.73%. This stock exhibits moderate daily movements, indicating a medium level of risk. A buy signal was identified from a pivot bottom observed one day ago. Is Starbucks stock a good buy? Starbucks shows negative signals, making it a potential sell candidate. However, there is a chance for a turnaround, making it a hold or accumulate candidate. Our analysis has upgraded the stock from sell to hold accumulate. Based on recent volatility, our system suggests that the current price is overvalued. On Friday, May 3rd, we anticipate Starbucks to open down 452 cents at $74.48. It's important to note that trading carries a high risk of financial loss. Before making any investment decisions, it's advisable to consult with a financial advisor. Please refrain from solely relying on stockinvest.us for your investment choices. Remember, by using the provided information, you are responsible for your own investment outcomes. Take a look at the current stock view. Share your thoughts in the comments. Do you agree or disagree? Let us know your target for the stock. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. Wishing you successful trading and a wonderful day from all of us at Stock Invest.